Synology Contacts is a centralized contact management package provided by Synology that can help keep your address books and contacts in sync across your various devices. In this video, I'll go over the steps to set up Synology Contacts, as well as configure various client applications, specifically Microsoft Outlook on Windows and Thunderbird on macOS to sync with the Synology Contacts server. To get started, we'll first need to install Synology Contacts from the Package Center. I'll do that by bringing up Package Center, search for Contacts, and click on Install once I find the package. I'll also click Yes on this pop-up window to install the additional packages that Synology Contacts uses as well. Next, to enable external access to Synology Contacts, I'll set up DDNS and port forwarding. I'll do this by bringing up Control Panel, then External Access. Here, I'll select DDNS, click Add, and for a service provider, I'll select Synology. I'll enter in a host name I'd like to use, then I'll check the box to get a certificate from Let's Encrypt and set it as default. I'll then click on the Test Connection button, and if the status comes back as normal, the setup should be fine, so I'll click OK. I'll click OK once again on this window, confirming that the new certificate will be set as default, and after the web server restarts, DDNS will be all set. For port forwarding, here are the rules that I've set up on my router. Ports 5000 and 5001 are used for HTTP and HTTPS, respectively, and port 5555 is used for the CalDAV service. These ports are forwarded to the corresponding ports of the internal IP address of my Synology NAS. Next, I'd like to enable the login portal for Synology contacts. To do this, I'll bring up the login portal control panel, and first I'll check the box to automatically redirect HTTP connections to HTTPS and click Save. This step is done so whenever we connect to the login portal, HTTPS is always used. After the web server restarts, I'll visit the website once again using the IP address that is assigned to my Synology NAS, so I need to verify this in my browser. I'll then go to Control Panel and Login Portal once again. Here I'll click on Applications, select Synology Contacts, then click Edit. Now I'll enter in Contacts for the alias, then click Save. One last setup step that needs to be confirmed is that users can access Synology contacts. I'll check this by going to the Application Privileges control panel, then I'll select Synology contacts. Here I'll click Edit, select the Default Privileges tab, and make sure Grant this privilege to all users by default is enabled, which it is in my setup. Alternatively, if you would like to assign user privileges to only specific users, you can uncheck this option, select the User tab, and grant Allow Access to the user or users you would like. In my case, I'll keep the default setup, so I'll click Cancel and Don't Save on this pop-up window. Now we're ready to start using Synology Contacts, and the first way I'd like to access the application is through the web portal. To do this, I'll use the DDNS hostname and web portal alias that was set up earlier and log in with my user account. Once logged in, I can add a contact by clicking on the Add Contact button. Here, I'll add a new contact, and once I have everything entered in, I'll click Add, then click Close to finish things up. Now, we can see the new contact under the default My Contacts address book. Other options we have are to add, import, or sync address books. Adding an address book basically creates a new local address book. This can be used to separate your contacts into specific categories, for example, creating a business contacts address book for your clients or professional contacts. Importing an address book gives you the ability to import contacts from external services like Google or Microsoft Outlook, as well as external CardDAV servers that you may be subscribed to. Syncing an address book is like importing, except you'll continue to receive updates from the external service when changes are made within the address book. 
Here, I'll sync the addresses from my Google account as an example. After the setup is completed, I'll switch over to my Google account and add another contact. I'll then return to the web portal, edit my Google address book, click on the sync option, and we can see the new contact has been synced successfully. There are additional options and features that are available through the web portal that I won't be going over, but I'll leave a link to Synology's knowledge base article on managing address books and contacts in the description below. Next, I'll configure Microsoft Outlook on Windows, but before getting into the setup, I'll make sure Outlook isn't running and install the free Outlook plugin, Outlook CalDev Synchronizer, which allows Outlook to connect to Synology contacts. I'll leave a link to the Outlook CalDev Synchronizer webpage in the description below. I'll download the latest version of Outlook CalDev Synchronizer. Extract the contents of the zip file after the download is completed. Then run the setup application to install the plugin where I kept the default options in my setup as I ran through the installation wizard. At this point, I'll start up Outlook, switch to the contacts view, and if the plugin was installed successfully, we'll see the CalDev Synchronizer menu item in Outlook. I'll bring up the new menu item, click on Synchronization Profiles, then click on the plus sign to add a new profile. Here, I'll select Generic CalDev CardDev, then click OK. Next, I'll fill in the Name section, then for Outlook folder, I'll bring up the Select Folder window, click on Contacts, then click on the New button. This brings up the Create New Folder window where I'll enter in a name for the new contact folder and click OK. I'll click OK on the Select Folder window as well. I'll then bring up the Outlook CalDev Synchronizer Options window once again, fill in the remaining server settings, specifically the DAV URL, username, and password. Note that the DAV URL can be found from the web portal. Here, you will need to click on the menu associated with the address book you would like to synchronize with Outlook. Select CardDAV, then copy the CardDAV client link. Once done, I'll click on Test or Discover Settings, and if all goes well, I'll get a Select Resource Address Books list, where I'll select My Contacts and click OK. I'll click OK on this Connection Test Successful window and once again on the Options window to complete the setup. Now I'll bring up the newly created contacts listing and now we see the contacts from the Synology Contacts My Contacts address book. Next, I'll create a new contact within Outlook. Then I'll bring up the CalDAV Synchronizer menu once again and click on Synchronize Now to sync with the Synology Contact service running on my Synology NAS. Now I'll bring up the web portal, refresh the site, and we can see the new contact listed under My Contacts, confirming that synchronizing with Synology Contacts is working properly. Next, I'll set up Thunderbird where we'll need to install the Cardbook add-on to be able to synchronize an address book. I'll do that by bringing up the Tools menu and select Add-ons and Themes. I'll search for Cardbook and once found, I'll click Add to Thunderbird. I'll click Add from this Permissions pop-up window and click OK to confirm that Cardbook has been added successfully. I'll close these add-on windows, then click on the Tools menu and select Cardbook. Next, I'll right-click in the left column and select the New Address Book option. From this Add New Address Book window, I'll select Remote, then click Next. On this window, I'll select CardDAV for type, then paste in the CardDAV client URL that I mentioned earlier in the Outlook Setup section. I'll finish up by entering in my username and password, then click Validate to confirm that the settings I entered in are correct. After validation is completed, I'll click Next to bring up this window where I'll give the address book a name, then click Next once again, and finally Create to complete the setup.
Thunderbird synced up automatically in my setup, and now I see the contacts that were added to the Synology Contacts My Contacts address book. I'll add another contact within Cardbook, making sure to add the contact to the newly synced address book. Next, I'll switch back to the web portal, refresh the page, and confirm that the new contact synced to Synology contacts properly, which it has. Synology has this knowledge base article listed here on screen that covers setting up other clients to sync with Synology contacts that I didn't go over in this video, specifically iPhone or iOS and Android devices. If you would like me to cover setting up these devices, leave a comment and I'll be sure to help. I'll also leave a link to this knowledge base article in the description below as well. Also, you may be interested in setting up a calendar on your Synology NAS, and if so, check out this video listed here on screen. Lastly, consider supporting my work by checking out the support this channel section in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.